Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well this morning I wanted to try some more with the bundled spindle and many of you don't know what a bundled spindle is but I uh, developed it probably four or five years ago when I was first trying to learn hand drill and I had harvested a piece of mullein or maybe it was dog fennel and I put it in the house to let it dry and after it dried it was way too small for, for hand drill. So I thought to myself, what if I was to cut it up into pieces, like six, seven pieces, tape it all together, put a nipple on it, and use it for bow drill, and it worked, and it worked easily too. So since then, I've made several uh, bundled spindle videos. I'll leave the link to the playlist up here in the right-hand corner. So this morning, I wanted to make a more natural one. Instead of taking the pieces of this bamboo, six to eight pieces of the bamboo. Instead of binding it together with electrical tape, we'll bind it together with paracord. And on the end of it, instead of using my metal bearing in the bearing block, on the end of it I'll go ahead and secure this fatwood tip so it'll have a fatwood. I cut it out of this piece of fatwood. So we'll just go ahead and bind this in with the uh, pieces of bamboo and we'll end up with a fatwood tip in a fatwood bearing block. It'll all become clear. Let me go ahead and get started. And I think I'm just going to use this poplar fireboard. I don't know if, the green, if you can pick up the green right there. But I do not want to work hard enough to have to fill up a 7 8 of an inch notch. So let me see if I can get about half of that thickness. Good to get an easy one every now and again, isn't it? We'll go ahead and put our divot right here. So that'll be our fireboard. It is super humid out here today. All right, let's go ahead and cut off a section of this bamboo. into now since that bamboo looks like it's about 3 16 thick that's what size I'm going to uh, split it in 3 16 inch strips if that works out better two pieces we can use. Let's give it one more piece. I whittle I whittle this one down for seven pieces. I think that'll make a good spindle. And it really doesn't matter that there's going to be a bulge up on this side. That doesn't matter at all. 
So let's go ahead and start strapping it together. Canadian hitch. You got a knot on the end. Then you tie this part. You tie this part around it for a slip knot. And cinch it down. Canadian hitch. I need to hold it. Long enough for you to go ahead and tie it up. Now, I think I'll only tie some around here and some around here and leave the middle open. So, let's go ahead and make a loop. Start tying it up. It needs to be as tight as you can get it. Should be good. And we'll cut it off. And stick it in the loop. Now let's see if we can pull it up. Pull it up under those wraps. Got it under there some. No. We'll do the same thing up here. Kind of interesting to try to get it set <laughs> and get that fat wood tip centered with seven pieces, four on this side and three on this side. I think it'll be alright though. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. We'll wrap it. This time we'll this time we'll put a loop right here to the to the center. Like that. And this time I'll put a loop to the center and start wrapping towards the loop. this goes through the loop and this pulls through here What you, I don't know what you can see with my hand and my arms in the way, but we are ready, just about ready. 
and we take our Canadian hitch off. So now I want to round that tip off with a knife. Ain't that something? <laughs> you ever seen anything look like that before? It works though. And we'll go ahead and do a burning. And reshape it up. Make it round. It's only going to be round on the very end. Oh, let's look at the... Let's look at the bearing block. How cool is that? You know that's going to be slick. Fat wood on fat wood. All right. Let's give it a try. Since that divot was so far back, I went ahead and cut the front of that board off. This string's not tight enough, so I may have to I may have to bear down on it once we get started. Not even close to round, but we'll touch that up. That's looking good. Let me go ahead and cut my notch and touch this back up, and I'll turn you back on. All right. I opted for a lot smaller notch than I usually do. I think it'll work better. Although that's not perfectly round, I think it's going to work. <laughs> you ever seen anything look like that before? It works. Get this out of the way, don't I? Let's put it right there. All right. Tighten my bow back up. It, we can't have it letting loose in the middle of it all. Still leaning forward though. I don't like that. I don't like that it's leaning forward, but let's let's give it a try. Let's see if it's gonna be forgiving.
Fat wood on fat wood. Has to be good, doesn't it? Just as slick as could be. The bundled spindle technique. Something I came up with, I don't know, three, four years, four, about four years ago, I guess. Works pretty good. I first called it the consolidated spindle, and I put out a couple of videos with that name, and then I switched it over to the bundled spindle. Let's go ahead and get the flames. I'll be in the picture. I think it has to be closer over this way. Let's see. The last several bundle spindle videos that I made, I told you you can make it more natural, if you will. And there's the proof. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.